The risk factors for hepatitis C include any blood transfusion prior to 1991 or anything where you could have been exposed to blood or tissues at any point in, the, in time. This would include anyone who has had an injection that might have been unsterile. Many of these were medical procedures done in lesser developed countries. People who have had used IV drugs even once. There is some debate that the use of intranasal cocaine and the sharing of the implements for snorting cocaine may also be associated with hepatitis C transmission. Anyone who has acquired a sexually transmitted disease, these are bloodborne and can be associated with the acquisition of other bloodborne illnesses like hepatitis C. Any healthcare worker who's had a needle stick injury, anyone who's ever received hemodialysis. And then there are probably less common risk factors. These include any contaminated instrument and things that have been implied are tattooing, body piercing, and other things where you may have been exposed to an unsterile needle or sharp instrument that may be contaminated with someone else's blood. For hepatitis B, which can either be bloodborne, sexually transmitted, or vertically transmitted, i.e. from parent to child, in addition to all of the bloodborne risk factors, anyone who is born in an endemic country that has a high rate, which includes most of Asia and Eastern Europe, parts of South America, South Southern Africa, as well as the Middle East, or people who are born in the United States to mothers from those countries are at risk for hepatitis B. Anyone who has multiple sexual partners, this can be sexually transmitted, though as I said, most of those patients will clear the infection on their own. 